everybody, and welcome to another edition of Will and Jonathan walking through Warsaw <laughs> and talking about why Warsaw is an amazing destination for you in 2023. If you've never been here, it's going to be amazing. You know, you get a bit jaded when you live in a place for That's a while. That's true. I've, when you see yeah. it through other people's eyes when they're visiting, you get all refreshed again. Yeah, yeah and your parents will be coming so yes. tomorrow. Yes, even tomorrow. We we'll count the hours, and uh, uh, you'll get to sort of see the city again through their eyes. Exactly. Where are you going to take them? Well, I think our first big dinner is going to be at the classic Lotus. You're going to go to Lotus? Yes. Why, why is Lotus a good place? Uh, well, it's just real, just classic Polish food, but it's really lively. It's a very strange looking place. They designed it in the 50s to be, uh, well, I'm going to say the word oriental. They thought they were making an Asian decor. Yeah. And so it's not a typical interior. And it actually looks more like a crazy Polynesian explosion of red and rattan. Yeah. And so it's this great mix of people of all ages and backgrounds. And it's like a real big reunion spot for people. And it's just, you know, fun, love, and vodka and beer and good classic dishes. So they, my parents have been there before. <laughs> There's the guy with the dog that looks just like him. Yeah, exactly. He's got a beard just like the dog. Yeah. We were talking about I'm glad he walked through the picture. Yeah, that's People good. are going to be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to notice him. Yeah, yeah. I had to notice him. Yeah, uh, so they've been there before when yeah. they visited in the winter and around Christmas time. And you see these tables filled with people in suits, people in track suits, hipsters. And you're like, what are all these people doing together? And they're like, oh, wait a minute. They're all back in town, maybe for Christmas, and they all grew up together, but they've all gone their separate career Done paths different and stuff. Things. So they all, it's a like yeah. weird mix of people and stuff. And it's just always a funny, we tried to make a thing of like doing Sunday brunch there, if you will. Where is that Lotus? So it's right after the Wajanki Gardens, Belvedere Va. Right. Um, and it's just been there forever. My father in law used to go there. Is it across from the Russian embassy? It's down the street from it away. Yeah, I mean, it's right. past the park, though. You have to go yeah, past yeah. the park. Past the park. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, people yeah. can find Lotus. Yeah. And yeah. it's, it's a real experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going there Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. And then... Gosh, you've reminded me of it again. It's yeah. great. And, uh, yeah. and they, you know, very stoic wait staff, but now they recognize me and it's fun and they always smile and are happy. So I, I made a big in there, I think, you know, but <laughs> broke the ice. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so we've got a whole agenda of, of, of other restaurants that we're going to plan on. Actually, the... It will be my mother's birthday next week, so we're going to go. The, the museum here actually uh -huh. has a new uh, restaurant down in the basement, which is like kind of high which end. Which museum? The, the National Museum here, sorry. Uh, of art? Uh, yes, the National yeah. Museum of War. Which is next to the Military yes, Museum exactly, we were yeah. just sorry, uh, yeah. sort yeah. of talking about yeah. in the previous program. Sure, and it's called yeah. Museona, and it's the guys that own Alevino, which is another good spot over on Mokotowska. Um, so we, we ate there once a little while ago. With when it opened, and it was quite, yeah, good. Right, so we've like, got Lotus, Lotus, we've got Musealna, uh, Musealna, Musealna, and underneath the Museum, museum. of Modern, uh, of the, of the Man Contem National uh, Museum. Uh, National Museum of yeah. Yeah. And then, Modern Art's not open And they yet. also own Alavino, which has been around quite a while, and it's very is popular. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And yeah. I think we're gonna head over to Saska Kempa for just like a little steak place. It's like kind of casual, and uh, it's called what Meat, I believe. What is it? It's called what? <laughs> meat. meat. Me. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that place. I've yeah. heard that place. Yeah. So the, uh, Saska, yeah, Saska's uh, Saska's across the river. Across the river, it's a little, uh, nice little district yeah, across the river. Wide yeah, interesting, wide boulevard and a lot of expats and international community, there, yeah. embassies. Um, but it's, it feels like a very different thoroughfare than some of the others. It's a little enclave, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a sweepy. Kind of hoity-toity, but, you know. Yeah, whatever. well, some people think that. Yeah, but it's... Uh, uh, it's an interesting area. It's not my favorite. Jolly Bush would be right. where I'd my money. But there's a lot money. of... You, you walk, you know, there's a lot yeah. of different things here. Yeah, uh, that's true. And yeah. it feels like... Nice it feels little different. street. Yeah. Cozy yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. As you say, embassies nearby. Yeah. It's uh, a, a kind of... Uh, uh, a little uh, more stand, a standalone buildings, view. kind of, even if they're multi-apartment kind yeah. of things, but it's got a different feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, what else? Um, what are, well, you yeah. have all the restaurants and the hotels and things like that. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. are a number of good restaurants and hotels. I mean, uh, but we, let's talk about hotels. Yeah. So in I'm, another. I, they're going to be at the. Uh, in another at episode. the Puro. Oh well, we're going to talk yeah. about it next time. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe so. we'll talk about ho yeah. hotels next time. Maybe we'll just walk. And listen to the birds sing. Yeah, because it's almost time over the, the birds over sing. the car. It's, yeah. it's spring, kind of. Well, it's a false spring. It's a false spring because we'll probably get snow some California-style <laughs> snow uh, storm again, won't we? Yes, yes. You yes. know, you never know uh, this time of year. 
when you might get another snowstorm. Although uh, spring is trying to come out. You know, I, I recently discovered I'm allergic to birch trees. Oh, yes. Which is what I, I thought I was. You're in the wrong part of the world. I know. <laughs> but I thought I was because uh, every year in, oh, from their, in from March, their I, get, okay. I start to get this problem with my sinuses. So finally went to the allergy person. I mean, I looked up and I said, what is the thing that blooms first? Birch trees. I went to the allergy. I said, can I do the test? Yes. Birches came out. You're allergic to birches, she said. And I said, oh, good Lord. What do I need you for? I knew that. Just give me some meds. <laughs> so here's your birch tea. <laughs> yeah. Better living through chemistry. Thanks for watching. Like us on YouTube and Facebook. Like Jonathan anyway. He's a good man. Jonathan Roy, <laughs> my friend. Companion here. I sure still is. got the hand. I want to thank him for walking with me. But we're not stopping. We're going to continue. We're going to go further on. More thrills in store on Follow Daily Travel. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Cheers.